So hi guys, ito na yung pangalawang part ng ating video tutorial on installing Windows Server 2008. Last session, nag-install tayo ng ating Windows Server 2008 and then ginawa natin yung ating initial configuration task para ma-prepare natin yung ating Windows Server operating system. But first, I would like to thank everyone na nag-like sa mga previous nating videos. Sana nakatulong ang mga videos na ito sa inyo kung kayo man ay isudyante, teacher, or just interested in ICT. Now, kailangan ko yung tulong ninyo. Our goal for now is makakuha tayo ng 100 subscribers para magkaroon ng ating channel ng customized na URL. Ito'y para maging mas searchable yung ating channel sa YouTube at mas maraming pang makapanood ng ating mga videos at makatulong din ito sa iba. So again, please like and subscribe sa ating channel and also click the notification bell below para updated kayo lagi pag naglalabas tayo ng mga bago natin mga videos. So now, let's start today's session. Ano nga ba ang server roles? Ang server roles ang nagbibigay sa ating server ng mga additional features to make it more functional. Kasama na dito yung pagiging file server or web server o kaya DHCP or DNS server. To maximize the capabilities ng ating server, we need to install server roles. So picking up from our previous video on Windows Server Operating System Installation, ililink ko yun dito sa taas, let's begin installing roles to our Windows Server. Now just a quick reminder, may mga times na magre-restart yung ating computer multiple times during the installation ng ating server roles. Normal lang yon, just be patient in waiting for the processes to finish. Bawat time na magre-restart din ang ating computer, hihinga niya tayo ng ating login password. Take note of the password that we used in the installation of the operating system dahil yun din ang gagamitin natin sa pag-login sa ating computer every time. Now moving on to our screen, maglalagin tayo ngayon sa ating computer by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete. And then, ilalagay natin ngayon yung ating password. Sa pag-configure natin ng ating server roles, ang una nating i-install is ang ating DNS server. So, to do that, pupunta tayo ngayon sa ating server manager, which is the icon in the leftmost bottom part of our taskbar. Now that we are on the server manager, click natin yung server roles. And then, select natin yung add roles. Click natin yung next sa wizard. And then, lagyan natin ng check yung ating DNS server. Click natin yung next. Next ulit sa follow following screens until makakating tayo dito sa screen na nagsasabi yung point na natin siyang install. Click natin yung install and wait for the process to finish. Now na natapos na yung installation process natin ng DNS server, click natin yung close button and then we'll move on to the next part of the process. So next natin gagawin, DNS server pa rin to. Pupunta naman tayo sa ating administrative tool. You can do that by clicking the start button and then clicking the administrative tools and then selecting DNS. Click natin yung ating computer name which in this case is server and then select natin yung ating forward lookup zone. In the next screen, right click natin yung forward lookup zone and then select natin yung new zone. Pupunta tayo ngayon sa new zone wizard. Click natin yung next. Select natin yung primary zone which we'll be using. Then bibigyan natin siya ng pangalan. We will name this server server.local. Then we will click next on the following screen. Now this is a dynamic update na dialog box. Seselect natin yung allow both na secure and secure dynamic updates. Click natin yung next and then finish. So next step natin dito sa DNS manager is right click natin yung reverse lookup zone and select natin yung new zone. Click natin yung next. Select ulit natin yung primary zone and make sure na nakaselect yung IPv4 reverse lookup zone. Click natin yung next and then we will provide the network ID. Yung network ID natin is yung ating IP address. In this case, ang ating IP address is 192.168.100. Once na inalagay na natin yung IP address, click natin yung next. Dynamic update uli na dialog. Select natin uli yung allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates. And then click next. And then click natin yung finish. Close natin yung ating DNS manager. And then restart natin yung ating computer. So after ng ating DNS server, ang isusunod naman natin i-install ay ang ating Active Directory. So login tayo sa ating computer. Wait natin siya matapos mag-load. Then put tayo ulit sa server manager, select roles, and then add tayo ulit ng isa pang role. Select natin yung Active Directory Domain Services. mag a tayo ng required features kung hinihing it. And then click natin yung next sa mga following screens. Then dito sa screen na to, click natin yung install. 
wait natin na matapos yung process of installation. And then, pag natapos na siya mag-install, click natin yung close button. Next step natin, punta tayo sa start. Then, itype natin yung dcpromo.exe. Click natin yung next on the following screen. And then, let's choose a deployment configuration. Select natin dito yung create a new domain in a new forest. Then, click the next button. And then, dito sa screen na ito, ilalagay naman natin yung fqdn ng forest root domain. Now, next naman, ilalagay natin yung forest functional level. So, sa drop-down menu, select natin dito is Windows Server 2008. Then, click natin yung next sa mga susunod na screen. Then, click next additional domain controller options. May lalabas na notification. Click lang natin na yes. Then, click natin yung next for the location for database. Type natin yung ating password. Then, click the next button. And then, finish. Now, kinoconfigure na nung ating wizard yung Active Directory Domain Services. Now, medyo matagal yung process na to. Just be patient and wait for the process to finish. Fast forward tayo pag natapos na yung procedure na ito. Now, once matapos na yung ating configuration, click na natin yung finish button and then restart natin yung ating system. Then, once na nag-reboot na yung ating system, let's log in ulit sa ating computer. And then, as an additional step, check muna natin yung ating network settings. To do that, punta tayo dito sa ating network icon, so ba, right click natin, then open network and sharing center. Select natin yung change adapter settings, right click natin yung ating adapter, and then click natin yung properties. Select natin yung IPv4, then select natin properties, and then let's make sure na kung ano yung ating IP address, yun din dapat yung ating preferred DNS server. So in this case, nagbago siya. So ibabalik natin yung dating settings and then click natin yung OK and then close. Next naman, i-add na natin yung ating DHCP server sa ating system. Balik tayo sa server manager. Click natin yung roles, then select add roles. Click next sa ating roles wizard. And then we will now select DHCP server. Click next to the following screens. Check natin yung ating IP address. And then dito sa screen na to, Piliin natin yung validate button to check our IP. The result should be valid. Yung nandito sa may bandang pa. So since valid siya, click na natin yung next to the following screen. Now dito sa screen na to, magbibigay na tayo ng ating DHCP scopes. Itong scopes, ang list ng mga IP addresses na pwedeng ipigay ng ating server sa ano pa mga, mga computers na gustong kumulik sa kanya to the network. So click natin yung add. And then, mag-enter tayo ng scope name. Sa ating example, lalagyan natin ay server scope. Sa starting IP address, type natin 192.168.100.30. And then, sa ending IP address naman, 192.168.100.30. Ibig sabihin nito, kung may co-connect sa ating server to the network, Yung ating server ay mag assign ng IP address between 30 to 80 dun sa client na gustong connect. So yung ating subnet type, leave that as default. Activate this scope. And sa ating subnet mask, automatic na uli yan nakalagay. Add natin dito yung ating default gateway. So in our case, 192.168.100.1. Click natin yung OK button. And then next. So, sa next screen, nandito tayo sa Configure DHCP version 6 stateless mode. For now, click natin yung Disable DHCP version 6. Click natin na next. Use natin yung current credentials. Then next. And then finally, click natin yung Install button. Now, after nyo mag-finish, click natin yung Close button. And that's it for our DHCP server. Last naman for our session today ay ang ating Active Directory users and computers. Ito yung mga list ng mga users na mayroong access sa ating server. To do that, punta tayo sa Start, Administrative Tools. Then, select natin yung Active Directory Domain and Computers. Click natin yung ating computer name. Open natin yung Users Folder. And then, create tayo ng bagong user. Now, for example, right-click tayo on this part of the screen. Then, select New. And then, User. Type natin yung first name, the initial, and the last name. Select tayo ng user on name and click natin yung next. Now, assign na natin yung ating user ng password and then tanggalin natin yung check 
Doon sa box na may nakalagay na user must change password at next black on. And lagyan natin yung check yung box opposite ng user cannot change password. Click natin yung next button and then finish. As you can see, nandito na siya sa listahan ng mga users na nandito sa ating Active Directory users and computers. And that's how you install and configure server roles sa ating Windows Server 2008 operating system. Next time, mag-install naman tayo ng ating Print Management Server and itetest natin yung ating network connection through the use of remote desktop connection. I hope you like this video at sana may natutunan kayo from our session today. If you have any comments or questions, leave a comment below and we will answer your questions the best we can. And as always, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next one.